I'm back everybody, welcome back to what is most likely going to be the final episode of the Mega Man Star Force Leo series. I've enjoyed the ride up to this point, and let's go take care of the final boss. But before we do any of that, I want to um, sit here and say that you probably noticed my HP has gone up. Um, in my previous attempts to record the final fight, um, and my previous attempts to just train off screen to see if I can beat him, none of them have worked. None of them have worked. I've not been able to beat this guy. And this is kind of bad considering I haven't really played this game in... since I beat it in high school. Yeah. That's a long time. So I'm hoping this is going to be the final attempt. Hopefully, it will. And, uh... We're going to the wave road. Now, one thing I want to stay here for... just for the, on the sake of this video. If you go into here, you will not be able to come out. So that's why I urge you to not save in front of the final fight. Uh, for your sake, just don't save. But onto the whole HP thing, I actually went out of my way to get some HP. Now, no, now, I don't know. Well, I am very low on HP. Uh, this is gonna probably be my failed attempt um, because I don't have any way to heal myself. I did not mean to do that. Well, whatever I run into now is gonna kill me. Ugh. I was wondering what I sick rifles to do. Okay. Man, that was just horrible. That that 906 HP meant nothing to the enemies in this area. <laughs> I literally got like less than half of my HP. Wow, that on the, um, the waves are really strong here. That means the FM King is nearby. Omega sis, while you're in that while you're in that lowly body, you are no threat to me. I grant you special special permission to ascend those stairs and come before me. Now come. That's what she said. Heh, <laughs> even if you hadn't invited me, I would have gone up there anyway. Come on, Jill, let's go. Another thing also knows Jill doesn't really say much. This conversation is really between um Omegasis and FM King. Well done, Mega Man. Omegasis. So the enemy who appears before me is one of my own warriors. Who would have thought it? So this is what it is meant by biting the hand that feeds you. No AME no warrior was able to reach me. However, one of my own was. I do commend you. Your Majesty, stop your attack on Earth. Quiet, I will destroy all planets that wish harm upon my own. Harm? I think you misunderstood. My dad came all the way out here just to form a brother band with, with the Planet FM. Be quiet, you brother band indeed. Humph. Your real purpose was invasion. You won't trick me. Hopeless. This isn't the first time the King's paranoia got the better of him. Geo, there's only one way to stop him. Yeah, one way to stop me? What are you talking about? We have no way of stopping me. We won't know unless we try. Hey, Kingy. You were saying earlier that no enemy and had meant, made it to you before, so well, I guess that makes me the first. You're an enemy and survivor? What? You're a survivor of Planet AM? Geo, remember how you said that I've never lost anyone before? Well, I didn't say it then, but everything that was precious to me was stolen by that guy. That's why I have I can say that I understand how you feel, Mega. If I don't do anything, then Earth's gonna end up just like my home planet AM. That's why we have to stop him now. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! What one AM? What can one AM and an Earthling boy possibly do? If you think you, if you can think you can stop me, then by all means go ahead and try. Awaken from your slumber, Andromeda. That's Andromeda? At its core, it is a ball of loneliness. It has an EM body, but all it ever does, but all it ever, all it does is ever so lonely and sadly eat other EM beings. Andromeda, have some or devour before I serve up the main course. Earth, I will crush all those who oppose me. You're not really doing the crushing; it's really your pet. 
just saying, Mega, this is a, this is it, the last battle. Let's show the un that untrusting brat of a king the power of our bond. Last battle, right on. You'll regret standing against me. Andromeda, go. Do some fisting of your own. Well, that that was just bad. The biggest boss in the game, meet Andromeda. A boss that is very, very scary. Um, and you'll see how scary it can get. So you're probably saying, what's so scary about this thing? It's just a big, it's just two big hands. You will see. You will see. <laughs> I don't understand Green Burst. Attack using green panels. Oh! Well, this is useless to me. <laughs> I was like, what is that even for? I'm glad I checked that. Like, cause like, that was so annoying to me. Like, what does it do? Well, absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, do that. Let's see here. Do this. Shoot. That's my fault. We turn this music for myself. I love this music, by the way. I haven't said that enough. I said it a lot actually in my previous recordings. I've never been able to do anything. I really love this fight. This this music is probably one of my favorite tracks of the entire game. It's very catchy. Straight to the point. And hopefully I'll punch you. OP can hit him. Please? Okay. Now, I think it's when he hits. Okay. That's my that's my shield. Okay, I need to, I need to, I need to remember that. Okay. Might as well since I'm here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to defeat him in this first turn, but it's it's good to get it, see how much damage I can do. I wanna wait to use my poison knuckle because if I don't if I wait, if I don't wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna really feel it. Okay, I'm hoping Taurus is range. Yes, it does hit him. Oh, I wasted that panel. want to heal want to wait I really want to wait Prelis isn't going to do anything to him I really want to wait okay there okay my control is acting like it should which is actually really good for me because my last controller <laughs> is like nope you're not doing that you're doing the complete opposite what you want to do Come on, cancer bubble. Come on, cancer. Okay, he should transform now, right? Nope. He won't transform. That's my that's my sausage. I don't know why I had to tell you that. Mm. I almost feel like I probably should get him now while he while his uh while he's. Well, he's he's vulnerable enough. Ooh. Thank you. Man, I really yeah, I really should get I really should get I got to I got to get that in there. I really do. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. If I don't do it now, when he transforms, it's going to be almost impossible to uh there. So, he'll s slowly start losing HP, even after he, uh, ch even after he transforms. Cygnus should be able to bring him down a little bit further enough. Okay, he's further up now. How's it feel getting... What the? I wanna... Okay. Now... Because he's transformed doesn't mean he got rid of the poison, which is good news for me. Wow. That was a complete accident, though, with me pressing that button like I did.
Oh, I messed up. That's gonna do a lot more damage if he has. Mm. That's me panicking. <laughs> Got the heal. Get rid of that annoying. I am panicking. I am panicking. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I so so wish that. It, 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 I'm, I'm almost 100% certain about this fact too. It is not gonna work on this boss. If it did, that'd be too easy. Well, I'm gonna die. I know I am. <laughs> I'm not even using my right... Wow. That is curtains. That is curtains. If I survive this somehow. Huh? Funny. I got killed by the meteorite. I didn't get killed by Andromeda. That's kind of funny. Uh, if I had more HP, I didn't... I got... I have, I have in theory enough HP to take him out. Now that's my, my other problem is I didn't have enough HP as far as I'm aware, but I'll meet you guys back at that point in a bit. It'll be a little while for me, but it'll be a bit for you. Well, actually a second for you. And we're back! I was able to paralyze him! <laughs> that's what happens when you, um, when you actually count, uh, counter something I wasn't actually doing in, in the game. Oh, he's done 293 HP! <laughs> Um, I need to keep on hitting him. That's what needs to happen. He won't die to the poison knuckle, which is kind of saddening. So we'll have to be um, on the lookout for his weakness here. Take that. Take that. Need to go invisible for this. I'm not gonna hold my breath that this, this black hole is gonna kill him. I'm gonna go invisible, so that way the next hit that he tries to do. Okay, let's see what this black hole does. Oh my god, I beat him! <laughs> that was probably the cheapest. That was probably the cheapest way to kill him. But I don't care. I did a lot of that fighting off camera accidentally, but um, I was too in the zone when I when I finally did get to transform, so I didn't bother turning on the um, turning on the camera. But I will say this much: anybody who does videos like mine or any videos like anybody else, I will say this much: if you you heard Let's Players complain about the Let's Play curse, um, I'm gonna sit here and say this right now: it definitely is a lot easier to play a video game while talking. Um. Just saying, I was actually in the zone when I wasn't recording for a minute. I almost forgot that I was actually making a video, a video, and not trying to beat him on my own uh, for my own volition. So uh, I apologize for actually having a lot of that fight not shown. But I will say this much: um, I did, I, I did get the, I did come in at the right time with the SF Buster. So you got a chance to see me use the technique on the boss. So I want that. To, I want that to be clear. I want that to be clear. <laughs> so, well, I'm gonna just let the cutscenes play and do whatever. Andromeda, impossible! I refuse to accept that there is a power that can defeat Andromeda. Andromeda, arise and crush them! Uh, what's Andromeda doing? Jill, it's coming in for another round. Can you still fight? <laughs> Looks like you have used up all your strength. Finish them now, Andromeda. Jill, pull yourself together. I can't. My body doesn't have any strength left. Or even though you're in wave form, you're still a human. You're not designed to take this much radiation. There's no way for you to withstand the FM King's EM waves. Curses! Concede, Mega Man. Oh, 
Oh boy! Stop Andromeda! Uh, help! Andromeda's going nuts! You better do something or else! My body... It won't move! I'm sorry, everyone. You're not alone, Jill, so stand strong! Hang in there, Jill! I will forgive you if you lose, Jill! Well, wow, two women just walk on in. And somehow the main character's got enough strength. Seriously, hey, you notice that? Whenever, whenever there's a girl involved, the, the main character someone gets, gets this astronomical amount of strength. It's like... Like, I want to... I'll continue. I'm tearing for you with some beef power. We're counting on you, Jill. Oh, God, Pat's here. You can do it, Jill. So stand up. Everyone is behind you, Jill. Believe in the power of your friendships. Dead. Everyone. I can... I can feel your strength. I feel like there's extra music that I'm just not I'm listening right to right now and I can't figure out where it's coming from. What is this power? Everyone, lend me your strength. I like how Luna's holding her both her hands to the side. <laughs> this is it. Ah! Andromeda. We just saved the guy that was trying to kill us. What? <laughs> Why are you not finishing me off? Ha! So, sorry. I, that was immature. <laughs> You came here to exact your revenge? Correct. Yeah, it's the only thing I thought about so that could take away my pain. But I've given that up. Heh, <laughs> being with Jill for so long's given me a new optimistic look on life. Sides. You don't have your underlings or Andromeda anymore, so you're pretty much powerless now. It is as you say. I have lost. But allow me to ask one thing. Where'd you get that power to destroy Andromeda from? Heh, <laughs> listen real good and remember. This is the power of relationships. Which the Earthlings hold so dear. The power of relationships. That's right, it's the power we give to one another when we really trust that person. The ability for both people to become stronger. That is the true power of our relationships. Heh, <laughs> that's the true power of friendship. Okay, never that. I'm trying to decide do I want to name this episode Andromeda or The Power of Friendship. You know what? Let's come up with something. The more people you have, you, um, you have who you can trust, the bigger that power becomes. I can't trust anyone. Ever since I was born, people have tried to delete me to steal my throne. My siblings, relatives, close associates, they all, they devised all sorts of plans to erase me. Actually, I had a few close calls in my life. I would think I had faithful followers, but they would turn out to be the same as everyone else. If I can't trust the ones most loyal to me, how can I trust complete strangers? The only thing I trusted about strangers was that they were out to betray me. I thought that I shouldn't bother trusting others to begin with if they were going to betray me in the end. That sounds familiar. Not trusting others, it made my whole life nothing but loneliness. Sounds exactly what Gio just said. Several episodes ago. I shouldn't bother trusting others to begin with is if they'll just betray me in the end. I thought the exact same thing. To me, someone approaching with even a smile on their face was suspicious. Actually, Planet FM attacked Planet AM the year right after we proposed to become good friends. That was when Gemini appeared and he looked upon the Planet AM with distrust and reported that Planet AM was planned to attack us. Gemini, huh? The creep. It was, it was easy for him to manipulate a king who was already paranoid. My dad contacted Planet FM, hoping to create a friendly bond, too. Yes, but enough of this. Come finish me. Ha! Huh? That was a forced. I can't. Why not? My dad truly wanted effort to become friends with Planet FM. If I were to finish you off here, I'd be betraying my dad and what he stands for. So I think I'll forgive you instead. You are forgiving me? The one who tried to destroy your planet? But in return, I have a request. A request? Actually, two. First, I want you to trust me. My dad always said that the reason people get into fights is because they don't know each other. If they knew each other better, 
then they they could trust each other. Well, that's a true a, a true statement to make is that if more people knew each other, there are probably a lot easier ways to become friends and trust each other. But that that's neither here nor there. Something I just want to say. A little food for thought. I didn't know how you felt, but through this fight, I learned a lot. I realized that nothing good could come out of loneliness. That only through relationships with others can anything be on anything good be born. Nothing good can come out of loneliness. Yes, I suppose that is true. And what your what is your other request? I hope you will become my friend. You and me? <laughs> you would be the first friend I've ever had. I think you need friends you can believe in. I have a lot of friends, and they are the ones who help help me get to where I am today. I'll be your very first friend. If you have people you can trust, then your cold, lonely world suddenly grows warmer. Blah. My world will, ch will change. Earthling, I can trust your words, correct? What are you doubting him for? He's got enough power to destroy Andromeda. He doesn't have any reason to trick you. That is true. That is true. I could kill you. Right now. Actually, I want to kill you. Can I kill you? Mega Man, no. I mean, Earthling. Would you tell me your name? My name is Jill Stellar. Just Jill is fine, though, Your Majesty. My name is Cephas, and you can call me that, Jill. Cephas, we're friends from now on, you and me. So here's to us. Yes. Omegasis, are you alright with this? Huh? Are you sure you don't want your revenge? I was deceived by Gemini and destroyed Planet AM with Andromeda. Don't be an idiot. You're Jill's friend, aren't you? If I hurt you, I'd be in real. I'll be a real bad guy. Jill Omegasis, thank you. I will return to Planet FM. And I promise to tell all of its citizens to treasure the strength of trusting hearts, and to make amends for our sin of destroying Planet AM by rebuilding it. Cephas, we will lend a hand to reviving Planet AM. Who said that? Oh God. And welcome, the true forms of the satellite admins. It's the satellite admins, the three sages of Planet AM. Mega Man, you have fought well. Omega Sis, as we had guessed, you are indeed one of us. You, the FM King, who had opened your heart. If you continue to have a trusting heart, as Mega Man does, the power to revive Planet AM will appear. That all of the AMians are gone. If you are living on other planets as we have. If we were to call everyone back together, Planet AM could be brimming with life again. Pegasus. Dragon. Leo. I vow to never lose my trusting heart. Very well. All he did was move a couple of square inches. What the heck? Jail, Omegasus. Farewell. Until we meet again. Omegasus. Is this alright? Yeah, I'll take a pass. If I don't stick around, Jill will never get home. Plus, I finally got used to Earth. So I'm gonna stick around for a bit. <laughs> we expected that much of you. Take care of yourself, Cephas. You too, Jill. It is time. Did I do what was right? You just saved Earth. I don't think anyone's got anything to complain about. Come on, let's get ourselves home to Earth. Okay. Well, that was quick. And with that, we have defeated him. We have defeated the Andromeda. I'm surprised that that's, that's it. Usually, something bad happens at the end of this. At the end of these fights, like something usually starts blowing up. You know what? Before we leave, I want to check something out. I want to see something changed about a certain area. Okay, just making sure nothing just showed up here for some reason, because like, there's a habit of that happening. I'll meet you guys back at the gate. Give me a minute. Hurry, Geo. The station is beginning to fall apart. I know. Ian Wave Chain, Geo Stellar. Had to open my big mouth about they're not nothing blowing up. Why couldn't he just wave change before it blew up over there? No, the wave hole is 
I can't go back to Earth now. What now? Now this is a jam. Over here, Geo. What is it? I thought I heard my dad's voice just now. He said to go over here. The switch. I think I can disconnect this module. Maybe we can give up the Earth, Mega. Um, but do you know how to fly this thing? My dad showed me this space station's control panel once a long time ago. So I think I can. Closing hatch. Now launching the emergency escape kit module. Picking up a signal. Is Aerol the rest? This is Boreal. Please respond, Mr. Boreal. The wave hole's gone. We still we still get the transmissions. It seems. This is Geo. The Earth is okay. We're returning to Earth in in the emergency escape module. Over. This is Aaron. Thank you. You did great. Ah, hold on, you Geo. Thank goodness you're okay. Hurry home. Ah, test test. This is Luna. Great job, Geo. Now hurry straight back. Hey, Geo! You really are my hero! After you get back, we're gonna go for burgers! Thank you! Hold on, you guys! Give me some space! Geo, are you okay with the controls? Yes, yeah, sort of know how to fly this. Right now, it's on autopilot, so we're moving at a great pace towards Earth. I see. That's a relief. Ah! System error! System error! Deviating from set course! Deviating from set course! Geo! Ah! Geo! Geo! Of course. Ugh. They're finally awake. Uh, what happened? A system error occurred and the module has been thrown off course. You were knocked unconscious by the shockwave. We're in a bit of a serious pro- we have- we're in a- We're in a bit of a serious problem now. Problem? Yeah, the autopilot system is busted, and we're deviated from a course from Earth. Right now, we're just floating through space. I don't think we can get back to Earth. What? I don't think we have zero chance, but I'm not sure which way Earth is from here. No. Meanwhile, on Earth. Yes, we got to Vista Point. The module Jill is riding in has a drastically deviated from its course. We had no way to find it from here, but because you are brothers, if you send out a signal, Jill might receive it in space. But I didn't become brothers with him yet. Do you think I can still reach him? Your brother Van is something that connects two people's hearts no matter where they are. If you if you wish to find him is strong enough, I'm sure he'll reach Jill. Alright now. Everyone, lift your transfer to the sky. Please, I hope this finds Jill. And I told him to come straight home. Hurry and come back to us. Jill, come back. Please, Jill, come back safe and sound. We're waiting for you, Jill. Looks like I lied. Apparently, you do sleep at more. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Dad, I don't think I'll ever see the Earth again. Don't give up yet, Geo. You still have strong bonds to the Earth. Bonds that no matter how far apart you are, connect can't be cut. Geo, believe in your brothers. And never give up. I'll always be, always be watching over you. Dad, wait! Dad! Dad! Dag Nabbit? He fell asleep. It was a dream. Yo, morning. I saw my dad in my dream. He told me not to give up, that I have strong bonds to Earth, and to believe in my brothers. Sounds like Kelvin. You never know, maybe he really did come by. What's my transfer doing? This light.
Ah! Would you look at that? Brother Bands, the complete, the convenient plot device. <laughs> if you can see my face when I winked, is that what I think it is? It's the Brother Band. They were looking for me. Looks like they really were. They were <clears throat> looks like they were really trying to. Don't know why I said there. Dad. Now I see why you value the bro the bonds between people so much. No matter how far apart we are, no one can erase the power of this bond. I think I can be strong and move on. Because I'm not alone anymore. And I have you wherever you are. Let's go home to everyone. Improvise there a little bit. Do that a lot of my um LP videos. I don't really read exactly what's on this camera. And with that guys, we have the end of uh Mega Man and That's a very dislocated um light. Uh yeah, that's what happens when you, when you take two screens that don't really connect too well into in, into full screen like this. But um, I have to say, this is a very, very, very long journey, and I want to first before I get into, you know, what I have to say, I like to first of all apologize. I would really look. I would. I really, really am very sorry. For how long this particular this particular series went on for, it should have been over with. And honestly, if I had uploaded a video every day um, instead of uploading several, then taking several breaks and then uploading several more, taking more several breaks and then uploading two consistently, having a week in between where I didn't upload anything, um, the, I, I, things got in the way. And I really don't think there should really be an excuse for how long this series took. And actually, to give, give you a, a good a good understanding, like why I apologizing now of all times, when I've been apologizing a lot in past videos, if I can just figure out what my freaking playlist is, I can actually go and figure out when the first episode was loaded was uh, first uploaded. Uh, do do do. Okay, to give you a good understanding. Well, that's a new one. Cause it, isn't it 2016? I'm a little bit confused now because I uploaded the first episode on December 11, 2014. This means that it took an entire year for me to upload <laughs> this entire series. Because, unless my math is off, and it really isn't 2016. Huh. It is 2016. Wow, I didn't know this series was prolonged that much. I really really want to apologize I was under the I was on the on the assumption that I started this in 2015 but apparently the first episode went up in 2014 in December of all months this is kind of why I tend to upload if I if it takes me an entire year and I finish something in October November I tend to just wait till the next year in the first month of that year to upload a new video so um, I like to apologize severely for that a year project something that I was never intending and it probably was because I uploaded Freedom Fight or Freedom Planet in the middle of all this mess to get more videos to watch. So yeah, I like to say um, we got through all that. Seriously, I really, I really do apologize. I need to really fix that. I don't plan for anything else to do the same thing. Which is why um, anybody who really wants me to make him uh, to play through Mega Man Star Force 2, you're gonna have to wait a while. Probably the same amount of time it took for this series to to um, to end. So, if anything, I don't, I don't really myself expect me, expect myself to get into Star Wars 2 until a year. So, there's going to be plenty of other content in between if I decide to play through Star Wars 2. Uh, and hopefully, what I plan to do from here on out is, if I, if I can, record several videos in advance, so that way I have videos to go up. 
and that way I can give myself a break if I don't want to record that week and I have an episode to go up anyway. So, um, with that, I'd like to thank everybody who stuck with me through this project, the people who've left and probably came back, to the people who are still here, wondering when this is going to end. Well, you, you, have, you, have, you now have your ending. It ended in July. It's when it's going to happen. July is the month that it ends. So, um, this is a very time-consuming project, a lot more time-consuming than I was expecting it to be, considering that I put a lot more effort into my Pokemon playthroughs than I put to this particular playthrough. Um, because my original intent was to not actually get any of the Mega Cards, which, actually from this collection here, I have seven. I never went out to Gemini, for obvious reasons. Um, so, yeah. But this is probably, I will say, this is... This game holds a lot of memories for me, especially in high school when I first played this game. I really, really enjoyed it, and um, it was definitely a game that, at the time, I really, really loved it, and people around me uh, who I watched me play it, you know, liked seeing me play it. And I guess at the time, I really wasn't aware of it, but I guess I was doing Let's Plays a long time ago, even before now. It just wasn't in a informative format or any video recording format, I was just playing f uh, for my friends. I, a lot in, in the ZX series, I actually played ZX1 a lot to the point where I was getting uh, almost perfect in a lot of the bosses that I fought. I wasn't able to demonstrate that to you in that Let's Play because I played that ZX game when I was in high school. I think I played Advent in high school as well. So a, lo a lot of time has passed from when I last played it to now. This project in particular, there was a lot of time that passed between the last time I played it because I had never picked it up again after I sold it. So, yeah. So, um, I guess with that, we're going to continue. I think there's more cutscenes here. Yeah. Three weeks have passed. Thanks to everyone, I was able to make it make it back home to Earth. It's safe and sound. But the wounds I got during the, that rough fight made me miss school for a while. But I got the okay from my doctor, so today I get to go back to school. I'm kind of anxious and excited to see everyone again after so long. Geo, hurry up and come downstairs. Everyone's here waiting for you. Okay. Jesus Christ, what's the what, what's the officer doing here? Welcome back, Geo. We figured it'd be a kind kind of sad if you had to go to school by yourself after so long, so we decided to drop by. So you better show us some appreciation. By the way. What are you doing here? You don't go to Echo Ridge Elementary. Aren't you supposed to go to your school? Well, today is Jill's first day back, so it's a special day. No harm done, right? I'll go to my school right after this. Besides, I can get there in no time if I take the Wave Road. Special day, huh? I guess so. Yeah. You did really good with that tiny body of yours, Jill. J uh, j tiny, tiny body of yours, Jill. You really are amazing. Um, I heard that if you go into space, you get taller, but you don't look like you got grew any. Welcome back. I'm relieved to see you're okay. Thank you, everyone. If you guys weren't there for me, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> what are you crying about? <laughs> you're the hero that saved Earth. Put yourself together. That's right. You should feel proud. <laughs> now that's now that's what we like to see. A real manly expression. And you can hear the school bell from over here. That's a loud bell. <laughs> Act, that's the bell. If we don't hurry, we'll be, we'll be late. As a class president, I can't be late. Come on, everyone, let's move. Yeah, that's really fast. That's real fast. Mr. Bro, Mr. Copper, thank you very much. Jill, we're, we're going to be late. You don't even go to our school. Jill, hurry up. Okay, I'm coming. Well, bye, Ma. See you later. Jill has really grown and changed. He looks like a different person. There's still all sorts of things I like to ask, but I guess this isn't the time for it. Kelvin, are you seeing this? He has so many friends now, and he smells just like you. Oh, God, I didn't see that. <laughs> I forgot they were there. <laughs> that just scared me. So what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? We are, we are we are aliens who live inside the hearts of lonely humans. But Jill and Sonya aren't lonely anymore. Heh. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I got the feeling that there's gonna be more excitement down the line if I stick with him. Plus I wanna learn more about Earth. 
What a coincidence! I was thinking the exact same thing. Shall we go? Shall we get going? We're going to be going. <laughs> We're going to be left behind if we don't. And they don't move. Yeah, let's go. The end. To a very, very long let's play. <laughs> Save clear data. Yup. And with that, with that, folks, um, we come to the end of the series. Now, before I, I, I end this video here, I want to say there actually is some after game content, but the after game content isn't really worth prolonging the series any longer than it's already been prolonged. If I want to come back to this and if somebody reminds me down the road um, that I hadn't done it and they want to see me do it, um, I will do the after game content that is story related. But other than that, I, not right now, and I'm not really in the mood or in I don't have the energy to want to record after game. If you want to go into the game, it has something to do with deep space, as far as I remember. So you go back into space. So that's pretty cool. So, um, with that, guys, it is the end of this series. Thank you for sticking with me for this long. I'm very happy to have this done. The final boss was taken care of. Andromeda is dead. Cyphus is gone. So is the, the uh, AM Guardians. See you guys for Freedom Planet. Because that's what's next. I started that thing a long time ago, and I'm going to continue with it because it's a blind playthrough. Can't wait to play that because I really, really love it. See you guys then.